when you pour salt into a wound, it burns. And God says, I want people to see you, and they get in conviction because you are salt. Salt acts, acts as a preserver and a seasoner. And God says, I want people to see you. Your children may never say to you, Dad, Pops, Mom, even your family may never say sister, brother, daughter, auntie. Your life, your relationship with God convicted me of the absence of mine. And that's what made me want to change. I saw who you are now that, was, that is different from who you were. I saw the change in you and it made me want to change because I saw the light and I experienced the salt. See, I'm going to show you what that really means. We're going to get all in there. Listen, Jesus gave us total victory over darkness. How did he do it? He had to rescue us from it. Let's read this rescue. Colossians 1, 12 and 13. Giving thanks unto the Father, who commissioned Jesus, which has made us meet to be partakers, qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints, where? In light. Are y'all seeing this? Pastor, why are you preaching on light? Because you don't, you don't have the light if you ask it. You don't understand. You have, you, are in, you have the inheritance of the light. You are saints who have inherited the light. And if you don't understand what it means to have the inheritance of light, I didn't fully understand it until the Holy Spirit taught me, and I'm going to teach you. I'm going to tell you something. You don't want to live without the light. Shout glory. In quote. So you was delivered from darkness into the kingdom of God's son, which the Bible says is the kingdom of light. You have been transferred. You have been moved from darkness to light. And when you don't understand, you've been delivered from the power of darkness. Now, notice what it says, the word power, that means dominion. Darkness is not to have dominion over you. And the first place the darkness seek dominion is in your mind. That's God said. He seeks to blind your mind, and when he can blind your mind, he can blind your heart. When he can blind your heart, he will cause you to walk and live your life in blindness. You've been pierced. Watch this. You've been pierced from darkness. Now you are to pierce the darkness. How have I been pierced from darkness? Because the Bible says we was crucified with.